Okay guys, we are on the third day of learning to draw clothing. This is the last day of it. Um, it's also day 25 of February. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to starting to learn to draw clothes. It, we don't need to have mastered anything by this point, but just started to think about it. And I've actually noticed that now out in the street, I'm starting to notice different types of folds on people. Like, oh, there's some, some zigzag folds happening on that person's trousers. There's a, you know, a drop fold happening on the scarf coming off that person's shoulder, that kind of thing. And now that that ball is rolling, that's going to keep going. And that visual understanding is going to keep building. And then it hopefully will get easier and easier to recognize and draw these things when we see these poses. But for today and right now, I was still in that difficult phase where I was overanalyzing and overthinking the folds. It's just part of the learning process. Hi, my name's Kenzo, and this is Love Life Drawing. So let's think about the folds on this guy. So he's got a long sleeve t-shirt on, some shorts, and then a t-shirt over the top of his long sleeve t-shirt. And we've seen some fabrics which are really stiff and just hold their own form. But this t-shirt here on the top is more loose and flowing. So it's not tightly fitted to him showing off his figure, it's loose and flowing and a lot of it then is dictated by gravity and how it's just hanging off him. So coming down from his chest, there's some pipe folds there. And then on his armpit, I feel like it's supported at the front and the back and it's kind of creating a U-shaped fold or a diaper fold around there. And then as you come down the side, his hand is supporting some of the cloth, creating some of those half lock folds that we looked at where the cloth gets kind of bunched up. It's a little bit more complicated there. To draw that, maybe you could start just by drawing the outline of the fold and then trying to build up the shadow shapes and stuff created by the folds. But also remember, you don't need to capture every little complexity and detail as long as you convey the basic idea to the viewer, which is that it's kind of bunched up because it's supported by his hand. And then on the long sleeve t-shirt, it's a little bit more fitted to him um, and it's you know, it's around this kind of basically cylindrical shape of his forearm and it's bunching up a little bit creating some of those zigzag folds that we looked at before. And then his shorts are a little bit more stiff and they seem to be holding their form more. So there's less folds, less intricacy happening there. And so we don't need to overcomplicate it. We can keep it fairly simple because it is pretty simple. I, you know, found this drawing tough. I feel like I overdid it. I was a little bit tentative, a little bit nervous. But like I said, that is, I believe, the important first stage of learning to draw something new. You're a little bit unsure. You're navigating it, overthinking it. But all the time you're doing that, you're learning and absorbing all this information. And then as you get more and more used to it, as you get more muscle memory, it'll start to be loose and quick and fluid. And all the skills that we have built up in figure drawing with gesture drawing and stuff, that will translate to drawing clothes, but not right away. Because right now we're really in that new phase of learning something. So we aren't yet ready to bring all of our skills to it. We're still overthinking it a little bit, I think. So I hope you have a great session. I hope you enjoy it. Um, this is the last uh, of learning to draw clothes, but tomorrow we have another challenge. Um, as if things weren't tricky enough, a lot of it is you know normal poses, which is great, but one of them, there's a moving model. So be prepared for that. I hope you're looking forward to it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.